All right. I want to take you all back to May 2018. We were just getting ready to launch the second version of CockroachDB. And this launch was an inflection point for us because this was a, the first launch that was influenced by customers. Since CockroachDB 1.0 came out, we had people that were using the product in production, building mission critical applications and services on CockroachDB. And their feedback was informing not just the product, but the direction of Cockroach Labs itself. And since that time, you know, as I'm thinking back to that time, there were really two themes or two feelings that I was hearing from many of the people in this room. Uh, the first was excitement about the future. For the first time, you could build uh, scalable, resilient, low latency applications and services that were out of reach or impractical before. You had a chance to meet rising customer expectations using technology that, you know, I personally heard people didn't think was possible to build. But in addition to that excitement, there was also a little bit of anxiety. There was some concern about your ability to take the next steps to uh, grasp this future that was so close. And the, the challenge was we were moving from a world of monolithic systems to distributed systems. That was putting tremendous pressure on your operators, on your DBAs. You're talking about multi-region applications. How, how do you connect two data centers together? Not everyone had those capabilities in-house. So we, we got another major piece of feedback. You wanted us to run the database for you. And that's what we did with CockroachDB Dedicated. This was our first cloud product. Since then, we've seen tremendous adoption, whether it's shipped the same day delivery service that used CockroachDB Dedicated to build their distributed payments platform, or Starburst, who um, helps their customers eliminate data silos as they build their uh, global control plan. They're actually going to be talking uh, later today. And Bose, they use CockroachDB because they needed a, a scalable and resilient service to manage all of their device metadata. Again, powered by CockroachDB dedicated. This product and this step forward was so important for customers like these, for many of the folks in this room, because now they could focus on building the application. They could focus on meeting customers where they were and let us handle the security, let us handle the database operations. And so now, what that means is you have choice. If you are comfortable running distributed systems, you have the SRE teams, maybe you're building an in-house uh, database as a service, CockroachDB is the, the product for you. But now, if you want to offload operations, you have CockroachDB dedicated. And so on the product team and as Cockroach Labs as a whole, you're going to start to see these two um, lanes of innovation. The first is on the core database. How do we continue to make it more scalable? How do we improve the Postgres compatibility to make your developers even more productive? How do we support new types of application architectures, whether it's uh, streaming applications or real-time applications, or maybe different topologies? Perhaps you only have two data centers. And then the dedicated improvements are additive. This is all building on top of CockroachDB. So we focus on things like security, integrations, APIs. How does this feel more uh, native as an extension of your, your infrastructure? And CockroachDB and CockroachDB Dedicated, those are things that we've built. Those are outputs of uh, a process. How do we actually make roadmap decisions? Where does the product come from? Well, it starts and it ends with each and every one of you. We start with the, the vision that, that Spencer talked about. And again, this is based off of the, the conversations we've had with you all. Then we start to go to the, the strategy, getting feedback on the areas that Cockroach Labs is going to focus on. What are the types of workloads that we want to support? What are the ones that are better suited through partners or maybe through other technology providers? Then we start to get into the nuts and bolts of the roadmap. What are the features that are coming out? When are they coming out? What are the problems that we're trying to solve? And then lastly, and this is my favorite, the actual execution. How are we solving those problems? Are those solutions delightful to your developers? Are they easy to use for your operators? And this is really where we get that, that tightest feedback loop. Because we don't want to just check the box. We want to make sure that we're actually helping you hit your goals. We want to make sure that we're helping you get your business to the, the next level. 
You know, one of my favorite examples of uh, this process actually came from uh, a design partnership that we had with uh, Netflix. Um, their platform team was trying to figure out how can they help Netflix developers build the next great um, applications and services and the next great Netflix products. And one of the, the key points was they were trying to figure out how do they get outside of a, a single region? How can they build multi-region applications for resilience, so if a region goes down, the service stays online. For uh, latency, how do they keep data close to their end users? And even for privacy, how do you make sure that data lives in the countries and the region where it is uh, supposed to? And so as a result of this strategy conversation, we started talking about what does multi-region CockroachDB look like? We, we took a first pass. You know, we started off with some common problems, one from Netflix developers, and this, is a, this was a pattern that we actually heard from dozens of customers. For a particular table, I want fast and consistent reads in all regions. So the, the V1 was we uh, provided some building blocks, some pretty low-level primitives for pulling this off. All you had to do was create a replication zone, set a leaseholder preference, create a secondary index on the table for each region, and by the way, for each one of those secondary indices, you had to create a replication zone. Not the, not the easiest, but it did work. And by the way, your operators had to make sure all of this uh, worked while you changed your, your table. So the good news is, with these building blocks, people were able to build um, multi-region applications. We were able to get feedback. And the, the biggest uh, theme that we heard was that this didn't feel like a, a SQL database. You've given us an imperative set of instructions. How can we let the database do more of the work? How can we say what we want and let the database figure it out? This is a SQL database. And so we went back to the drawing board. Again, we're in the execution phase. And we got down to a single line of code. You have a table, you want it to be global, ask the table to be global and let the database figure it out. This isn't something that we could do by ourselves. This is the result of the partnerships that we have with each and every one of you. And we also heard something else. These are uncertain times. Budgets aren't clear, customer demand, perhaps it's softening, maybe you need to change your business in order to adapt to this, this new uh, reality. And the question was, Cockroach Labs, what can you do to help us? How can the database evolve to support the, this new reality? And so, again, we went back to the, the drawing board. And we asked ourselves a, a couple questions. You know, capacity planning, that, that's a, a big friction. Like, what if you don't know the demand a year from now, six months from now? Adding a capacity planning step to figure out your uh, infrastructure, that, that's a, uh, un an unnecessary burden. What if we could help people iterate faster? What if we could help people ship faster by making databases available instantly and on demand? And with TCO and costs being top of mind, what if we could start to deliver this at a significantly lower price point? And that's what we did with CockroachDB Serverless. So we focused on maximizing velocity from prototype pr to uh, production. We talked about getting predictable costs through spend limits. So you can say how much you want to spend for a particular month, and then the database will throttle the workload to make sure that you stay in budgets. Again, adding that predictability. How do you run many end user databases on the sh same shared infrastructure to significantly, significantly bring down your average costs? And again, getting out of the business of capacity planning. So we launched CockroachDB Serverless in beta about a year ago. Since then, we've seen thousands of developers build applications on serverless. We've seen tens of thousands of clusters created. And we've also, as you can imagine, gotten a lot of feedback. Some of it's positive, some of it's negative, all of it's valuable to us. And we iterated. And we continued to refine and refine. And now we feel like the product's ready. It's ready for those mission critical applications. It's ready for your production workloads. And so today I'm excited to announce that CockroachDB Serverless is generally available. And we don't
don't want to stop with just building a new product. The question is always, how does it fit into your company? How does it fit into your organization? What are the ways that it can integrate with the common workflows of your developers and your operators? So there's two partnerships that I want to talk about. The first is our new partnership with HashiCorp. We built a Terraform provider for CockroachDB Cloud. Now you can create, um, declaratively, CockroachDB resources, CockroachDB Cloud resources that feel like an extension of your environment. Whether you want to declaratively create dedicated clusters or serverless environments, you can do that through our HashiCorp partnership. And this is part of a, a broader relationship that we have with uh, HashiCorp, and we'll be talking more about that in the, the coming days. Next, developers. How do we help people build faster? We've been thinking a lot about the, um, the right partner to help combine serverless execution with a serverless database. And we couldn't think of a better one than our friends at Vercel. They have a developer-focused platform as a service that helps you build, preview, and ship very fast. And now, with uh, a few clicks, you can create a Vercel uh, front end with a CockroachDB serverless back end. Very fast for um, experimenting, finding new product market fit, and continuing to accelerate your business. So thanks for our friends at uh, Vercel and uh, HashiCorp for, these, for working with us for these partnerships. And then lastly, how do we help you get from point A to point B? How do we help you transform from monolithic architectures to distributed ones? You know, we, we have cockroach in our name. We're always figuring out different cockroach metaphors. Some of them can get uh, pretty gross, but I, I think this one's okay. <laughs> so when uh, cockroaches are um, small and they need to grow, they're trying to, to thrive in a new environment, they, they actually have to go through a, a transformation. They actually have to shed their um, exoskeleton and um, develop a new one. And it's a process called molting. Please don't look that word up. Um, <laughs> but we, we see our um, organizations going through a similar process. How do you go from the constraints of a single region database? How do you go from the constraints of a scale-up database and move to something cloud-native and move to something more modern? That's what we're supporting with our new Molt migration service. This is a combination of uh, capabilities from faster import to a schema a conversion tool to a broader integration with Amazon database migration services. Now you can move from Postgres to Cockroach, Oracle to Cockroach, MySQL to Cockroach using Amazon DMS. So it dramatically speeds up the time from or for modernizing your applications. And again, this came from the feedback. This came from the partnership with all of you. So we, we talked about a few things. We talked about the role that customers, everyone in this room, plays in shaping the roadmap and shaping how it, it surfaces. We talked about uh, CockroachDB serverless and how we can dramatically um, improve your TCO and help you become significantly more agile. We talked about partnerships for connecting CockroachDB to the broader um, IT stack. And then lastly, we talked about migration. How do you get started even faster? And so to close, we haven't done this alone. We're doing this by building together. And I can't wait to see what we create. Thank you.